7 News Alert, USC will introduce its new football coach this afternoon, and it's going to be a homecoming for the man who will lead the Gamecocks. 7 Sports Director Pete Yannity here in the studio with more. Pete. And Fred, as uh, Shane Beamer arrives, he was an assistant coach on Steve Spurrier's staff from 2007 to 2010. He's credited with having a significant role in the recruiting of USC teams that had that great run of success in subsequent seasons. So there he was on Sunday coming back to a program with which he's familiar as he arrived in town to put the uh, name on the contract and that kind of thing, or as it were. Now, of course, it caps off a very interesting saga. Three weeks ago, Will Muschamp was let go. It appeared as late as early last week that it was Beamer's job and no one else's, but even he reportedly through back channels, he had to back off uh, and wait out the process, which included interviewing Billy Napier, the Louisiana head coach, over the weekend. But Beamer, who spent the past few seasons as a right-hand man on the offensive staff to Lincoln Riley at Oklahoma, now takes on his first head coaching job and, of course, brings a famous name to the Gamecock program as well. His dad had great success for all those years, guiding Virginia Tech, Frank Beeman. Beamer becoming a legend in coaching in his days with the Hokies. So let's let you know more about his son, Shane. And, well, he certainly does have a great resume at age 43. And after those three seasons at Oklahoma, taking on his first head coaching job. But his work at USC as an assistant included a resume that also includes stops at Mississippi State, Tennessee, and Georgia as an assistant coach. And, well, Shane Beamer certainly has been around quite a bit. But the big question, Fred, is he's taking an SEC program now mm -hmm. and taking the head coaching job with no prior head coaching experience. And I, I looked at a couple of USC peer schools, I think, in the SEC, Arkansas and Kentucky. Mm -hmm. Sam Pittman's the first-year head coach at Arkansas, not a coordinator ever or a head coach on the major college level. He's mm -hmm. been an offensive line coach for many years, most recently Georgia, before taking the Arkansas job this year. Mark Stoops at Kentucky, he was a coordinator at Florida State, took on his first coaching job about six years ago, done a solid job at Kentucky. They're under 500 this year, but he did have a 10-win season and an 8-win season prior to this campaign. So it is certainly a risk whenever you hire a coach, but hiring a guy who's never been a coordinator or a head coach on the major level, that's been quite the conversation going on since everything uh, broke on this story back on Saturday night about Shane Beamer getting the job. Yeah, and not to raise expectations here, but we see never been a head coach, never been a coordinator. Is there any coach in our general area code who's ever done that with any success? True, but when you <laughs> compare him to that very famous example, keep in mind Dabo Sweeney ascended currently on True. the staff of Tommy Bowden. And I always think that Dabo Sweeney isn't given credit. When he arrived in 2003, you can just look at it, Clemson's recruiting really did change. They brought in a generational mm -hmm. player in C.J. Spiller. They'd never recruited that kind of guy from right. so far away, uh, getting him out of the state of Florida. So a little bit of a different scenario, but, but obviously that could be part of the conversation. Yeah. I don't want to go way out there with that comparison. All right. Thanks, Pete. Taylor? All right. Thanks, Fred. And, of course, Pete. Developing